Here we go. Your magic five. And moving one step closer to the crown is candidate number 10, Ariana Marie Chu. It's your lucky night. Candidate number 13, Charmaine Kaasi. Another lady who can breathe a sigh of relief is candidate number 12, Jordina Pigo. Come and join the party. Candidate number number five, Nina Sasha Ganejo. Okay, guys, we have one more spot left. Who's it going to be? Sino, guys? Send the lamb. We have 14 very worthy ladies vying for this last spot in the Magic Five. There's seven, there's nine, there's one. All right, guys, last but not least, your dreams have a chance of coming true. Candidate number 17, Jen Jen Chan. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for your magic five. Thank you, ladies. This is it, guys. This is it, the last step towards the crown. This is where it gets to the toughest round in any pageant. This is the make or break point. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to the question and answer round. Now, ladies, our Magic Five, remember, it's, uh, it's not just about speaking up. Yes. You need to make sure that you're eloquent. You know what you're speaking about and you speak with confidence. Yes. Now, this is the way it's going to go. We'll ask each of you to uh, pull out a envelope, correct? Yes, and we'll ask each of you to reach in and pull out a crowd. The judge you choose will ask your final question out loud. You'll have 30 seconds to answer until you hear this sound. Para game show. <laughs> That's the signal that your time is up. Okay, now ladies, we'd also like to remind you and everyone that all scores revert back to zero. Everyone starts with a completely clean slate. So this last part is pretty much determined by your answers. No pressure. No pressure? Is that for real, Horace? Well, maybe a little bit of pressure. Uh, can I please have one of the ushers here to uh, hold this uh, lovely fishbowl? It's awfully awkward to hold everything. Or not. You're a macho, you can do that. <laughs> okay, this is where my balancing comes in. Okay. Uh, okay, the criteria for judging the final round is uh, beauty of face and body proportion. Of course, this is a beauty pageant after all. And their intelligence, wit, and confidence. All right, are you ladies ready? Yes? Oh, look at those confident smiles. All right, we're going to start off with uh, finalist number one, Aliana Berlin Chu. Hi, Aliana. How are you feeling tonight? You're very tall. Hold up, should we adjust the microphone so she'd be able to... Okay, I'll just give you my microphone. How do you feel tonight? You're one of the Magic Five! 
first, I feel a little bit jittery, but I think that's normal. Okay, now we have in here a series of envelopes, each one with one of the judges' names on it. Please choose one. Okay. Don't be nervous. All right. And your judge is Candice Ramos. Ma'am? Are you nervous? Okay, just relax, breathe first. And this is your question. <laughs> it's very easy, you know. Why is it important for young people like you, a voting age, to participate in elections and how are you going to encourage your peers to vote? Para sa iyo, bakit mahalaga sa mga kabataan maaari ng buboto ang makilahok sa eleksyon? Paano mo hihikayatin ang kapwa mo kabataan na makilahok rin kasama mo sa eleksyon? Alright, you have 30 seconds. Which one? It should start with you as young young people. You must vote wisely for your future. And that's about it. For your future to be better. Very good. Thank you very much for that answer. All right. That is our finals number one, Aliana Berlin. Thank Chu. you. Aliana, you can relax now. I agree. It's about the future, Mark. Absolutely. It's about my future, your future, and our future. Exactly. Okay, let's call in our second her. finalist, Shira May Kaasi. Good evening, Shira. All right. Could you please choose an envelope from the bowl? And the judge's name that you chose is Jerry Gonzalez. Hi, Shaira. How are you? Hello, I'm good. Good. So this is my question. If you go back in, if you could go back in time and change one thing in your life, would you take that chance? And uh, what would you change and why? If I were to change something in my past, I won't change anything because who I am now and what I am today is something that I have thoroughly um, had my hard work in life. Those memories, my happiness, my mistakes is what, um, it's what substantiate me as a person and as a lady standing in, uh, in front of you right now. That would be all thank you. your future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shira. All right, and now we move on to finals number three, Jodine Apigo. Hi. Good evening. How are you doing? Okay lang. Are you ready? Ready, ready na? Okay. All right, please choose an envelope. That one was just waiting for you. Ah, this one is going to be asked by our judge, Mariano Flormata. Good evening. How are you going to answer? Here's your question. This is all about bullying. Bullying. Especially cyberbullying is a very relevant issue to young people in social media. How should young, pe uh, young women, such as yourself, deal with cyber, cyber haters? In Tagalog, bullying. Lalo na ang cyberbullying ay isa sa mga mahalagang usapin ng mga kabataan sa social media. Paano dapat harapin ang mga kabat kaba kabataang babae na kagaya mo ang mga cyber haters? Thank you. 
Black out na, black out na. It's okay, guys. I have joined beauty pageant and it's really hard to think, you know, think of an answer, come up with an answer within 30 seconds. But it's okay, you can breathe in. No one's, you know, we're all here to support you. Should we give her a chance I think to just say something? Okay, I'm going to ask Everything will Yes, I think. Uh, Alright, can you please have a warm round of applause, please, for you guys? It's really tough to be here. I know, I get a little bit tongue tied up here myself. Yes. It's, uh, and it's very nerve wracking. Just being able to represent your barangay, your family, your friends to support you is more than enough. To be, a, to be in this very stage representing, right? Yeah, so, very tough question as well. Yeah, very tough. I know, I can't deal with my cyber haters. <laughs> I don't know what to do with cyber haters. Okay. I think the best thing is just ignore <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to our next finalist. Nina Sastro of the Medjo. Hi, I love your demo. Who made your demo for tonight? My hand. Mr. Joni Baraji. Is it your design or did you collaborate with your designer? No, actually it's it's his idea. It's his idea and I love it. It's very modern and classy. Very nice design. Anyway, are you ready? Definitely yes. Definitely yes. Pick your choice. Alright, that's a confident yes. Okay. All right, Derek Monasterio. Question is all yours, sir. Uh, bye bye, lahat. Um, okay lang sa akin na uh, speak Tagalog ako, kasi intelligent si Mon is defined that um, na pag English is sa akin. So importante may naman yun sa akin. Okay. Here's your question. What is your take on social media? Is it more a blessing or a curse for young people? Should People be free to say whatever they want on their personal social media accounts. First of all, social media is me because it is an effective tool for social for com for campaigning social awareness to different social issues. So it's up to you guys if you have your self discipline because I believe that think before you click because To my fellow youth, we also have a feeling, so all I can say is ignore the negative or the bashers in the social media, but appreciate the positive. That's all. Good fun time. All right, right on the bottom. Discipline. Thank you very much. That's what we need. I think okay. we're ready for our last finalist. I believe so. And last but not least, the finalist number five, Jen Jen Chan. Jen Jen Chan. Wow, delivery. Good evening, Jen Jen. Good evening, sir. How are you feeling? I am nervous and I didn't expect this chance. Oh, expect it now, you're here. Yes. <laughs> would you like to thank someone, your family and friends watching you? Of course, I would like to thank my family, my friends, my colleagues of course who supported me during before and after after this pageant of course thank you very much for cheering me up guys wow dami mong supporters right. so I can, you can see where the fans are okay go ahead and choose your own look okay miss bayero santiago 
feel? I am nervous, man. Just inhale, exhale, and then answer. So your question is, what are your thoughts about women political leaders? Mayors, senators, or presidents? Are they just as good as men? Good evening. Of course, being a leader, it does not it is not important if you're a male or a female. What is important is your the values that you are possessing, of course, in leading other people in our society. A woman can, of course, show how confident and strong they are in leading the people. Just like, for example, Nakapagal Arroyo. Diba? And, uh, yes, the... Uh, the leaders in our society are very strong women. They encourage other people to participate in every activity that will uplift our lives socially, economically. Thank you. I agree to that. Women empowerment. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow. That was tough. Yes, it is. It's always tough as part of competition, as you well know. I know. I'm always, I keep on praying before question and answer to enlighten me, give me, you know, guide me in everything that I say, but it's hard. You only got 30 seconds and you have to say all the right things. It's much right? easier being a host. 